welcome students in the last video we were discuss about the phase diagram of the carbon dioxide systems and in that case we were discuss all the points related to the phase diagram of the carbon dioxide systems okay dear students today i am going to discuss the next topic that means the next chapter of our syllabus that is from physical and analytical chemistry chapter number 2 and number name of the chapter is what ideal and real solutions dear students before going to discuss what you mean by ideal solutions what you mean by real solutions before going to discuss all these things number of criteria is there uh, which solutions we can say this is the ideal which co solutions we can say this is the real solutions there are number of conditions and criteria is there before going to discuss ideal in the real solutions we have to know some basic concepts related to the solutions i know all of you you have seen all these things definitions of solutions you may have seen in your 12th class or maybe in your first year bsc and the concepts related to the solutions you have covered all these covered in your first year bsc maybe in your 12th class also okay so i know the the chemistry is volatile subject so you may forget all these things or that's why i am going to discuss the introductory part of the solutions so first of all we have to know the definitions of solutions you have already seen in your s5 bsc maybe in your f5 bsc or maybe in your 12th class or maybe in your 11th class but you are forgetting i am considering you are forgetting all these things and that uh, by considering this i will explain all these things so what is mean by solutions so the definitions of solution is what the solution is what a homogeneous mixture we can say homogeneous mixture solution definitions of uh, so solution is what a homogeneous mixture of one or more component more component one or more components that, that components may be one component is what component we can say in the, we, or we can say one or more components or we can say homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent this is this two words we can also use here the homogeneous mixture of this definitions like that i can write another definitions and simple definitions like that a homogeneous mixture of a homogeneous this is very common definitions used in the chemistry a homogeneous mixture of mixture of the solute and solvent this is very important concept solute and solvent there are in the solution there are two components solute and solvent so this is the homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture is what the mixtures which are completely mixed to each other the mixtures which are completely mixed to each other that means like that if suppose i am taking be in the beaker here is the water molecules in this in this beaker there is water molecules and i am uh, adding in this water molecule sugar molecule i am adding into this water what sugar what will happens the sugars are completely dissolved in this water molecules when i add the what is to uh, sorry nacl that means the sodium chloride molecule sodium chloride is completely soluble in the water molecules and after adding the sodium chloride after adding the sugar molecules what will happen only we, only the one phase is is involved in the solutions or we can say this mixture is what homogeneous solutions because we can't see the, the sodium chloride is in solid form in exist in this uh, water molecules we can't see the sugar molecules is in the beaker molecule we will see only liquid form sugar molecules or liquid form water molecules or liquid form sodium chloride only so that mixtures we can say this is the homogeneous mixtures in that case mixture of a solute and solvent 
this is the solvent molecules this is the solvent molecules water is a solvent molecules and we are i am adding sugar molecules i am adding the sodium chloride this is the solute molecule this is the solute molecules and this is also solute molecules and this water molecules acts as a solvent this water molecules acts as a solvent so this is the homogeneous mixture of solute means that sugar molecules and solvent of this that means this is the water molecules and that solutions we can uh, so that mixture we can say this is the this is what solutions this is what solutions of sugar and solute sugar and water molecules or we can say this this is the solutions of sodium chloride and water molecules okay so this these are the uh, definitions of solutions and the de in the definitions we can say homogeneous mixture of what solute and solvent so there are two concepts arises in my mind how can i define the solute and solvents so we have to know the definitions of solute is what definitions of solute is what we can say a homogeneous mixture a homogeneous mixture a homogeneous mixture in which less amount less amount of substance chemical components we can say less amount of substance or chemical substance in, i am writing a substance substance as compared to as compared to as compared to solvent as compared to solvent and that component that and that component that component or that substance sorry i am writing here substance so that substance that substance it's called it's called solute of the solution solute of the solution this is the simple definitions or you have to remind the definitions are not important for the exam point of view but you have to know what is mean by solute solute is what in the homogeneous mixtures less amount of less number of substance or less amount of substance is present as compared sorry less amount of substance is present here is some uh, mistake is here is present you have to write these things properly is present as compared to the solvent that substance we can say this is the solute of that solution solution solute of that solution exactly opposite to solvent exactly opposite to solvent solvent is what a homogeneous mixture the definitions of solvent is what a homogeneous mixture in which in which more number of we can say more number or more amount of or we can say more amount or large amount sorry large amount large amount of substance substance are present are present as compared to as compared to the to the solute or we can say as compared to the another another is what solute is in the solution that's why we can say as compared to solvents and that substance that substance is known as is known as a solvent of the solutions of the solutions so substance not substance solutions so this is the, the definitions of what solutions solute and solvents and by examples we can say this is the beaker 
this is the beaker in this beaker i have taken 20 ml sorry 20 ml oh sorry 100 ml 100 ml of water molecules 100 ml of water molecules and in this water molecules i have to add 10 gram 10 gram sugar molecules or we can say 10 gram nacl and so after adding this 10 gram of sodium chloride into this water molecules what will happen a homogeneous solutions are ready or that solution is what the solutions of 10 gram of nacl and 100 ml of water molecules so in this homogeneous mixtures we can say this is the less number of or we can say this least quantity of sodium chloride is here so that less quantity of sodium chloride we can say this is the what solute as compared to this what 100 ml of water molecules so 100 ml of water molecules we can say this is the solvent and this is the solute this is the solute so by using these two things two concepts we can say this homogeneous mixture of solute and solute and that so that mixtures we can say this is the definition of solution this is the definition of solutions okay so next next concept is arise in my mind that is means that i am using here uh, the solubility and solutions this so solvent solute is soluble in the water molecules or we can say the as which are the criteria or which are the uh, just a minute so next concept is what solubility 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 definitions of solubility is also very important three definitions we have covered here first one is solution second one is solute third one is solvent solvent and solubility so the solute are easily soluble or not or we can say the here is another possibly another concept is arise in my mind that is the solubility so the uh, minimum number definitions of the solubility is what the minimum number of minimum number of number of solute is dissolved or are dissolved we can say are dissolved in the solvent in the solvent we can say it's called simply we can say it's called solubility of solubility of that solvent minimally makes a what minimum number of solutes are dissolved in the solvent it's called solubility of that solvent okay so this is the definition of solubility on the basis of uh, states of matters on the basis of states of matters there are nine types of solutions are exist in the universe and this is very important for the exam point of view because you have to know which type of solutions is given to you because your exam is online will be held in online online mode and the questions may may be asked like mcq type that means the multiple choice questions are there so your attention or you have your concepts are very clear about the solutions so on the basis of we can say on the basis of on the basis of states of matter states of matter matters on the basis of states of matter that is that is as we know the in the universe the matters exist in the three states first one is solid second one is liquid and third one is a gas matters on the basis of states of matters there are there are nine types of solutions nine types of 
solutions exist in the universe nine types these two these things this uh, numbers are very important for the exam point of view so remember all these things there are nine types of solutions exist in the universe on the basis of states of matter that means solute and solvent there are three states of matter if suppose solid uh, solute solute are in solid uh, solid form and solvent are in liquid form that type of one solutions so let us discuss one by one by using examples suppose i am writing like that number serial number i am writing number of solutions means what nine types of solution first 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 nine types of solutions are there so i am writing nine types serial number this is the solute and this is the solvent solvent and next we will see the examples of that solutions examples okay if suppose solutes are exist in the gaseous state and solvent also exist in the gaseous state both are in gases solute and solvent are in gaseous state then what will happens example of that what air in the air number of gases molecules are mixed to each other mixed to each other so that mixtures we can say that mixtures we can say this is the mixture of gas and gas that means solute is in gaseous form solvent also in a gaseous form because in the definitions of solutions we have already seen the uh, the homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent so the, in the uh, solution there are two components only first one is solute and second one is gas uh, so second one is a solvent so we can say these if the solute are exist in the gaseous state and solvent also exist in the gaseous state that solutions we can say this is the gases solution this is the gases solutions an example of this is what example of this is what air as we know in the air number of gases molecules are or gases are mixed to each other so this is the definition uh, so this is the first type of uh, solutions now the second thing if the if the solute are in exist in the gaseous state i am changing the solvent state that means the liquid state like that what will happens the mixture is homogeneous mixtures and in we can say example is co2 in a water molecules co2 in a water molecules or you have already if you are drink the uh, number of cold drinks in the cold drinks pepsi like that pepsi when we open the uh, lid from the bottles what will happens the number of uh, bubbles the air bubbles comes up so this is the what will happen number of bubbles are comes up to the uh, in the bahe into uh, up to the uh, from the bottles and from the bottles this uh, this uh, bubbles are what co2 molecules are there so this is the example of what gases solute and solvent is what liquids okay so this is the example of also this is the second type of now third type i am writing like that you have to make chart of this gas this is also gaseous state and if the solvent is in what yeah. gas solid form solid form an example of this is what hydrogen molecules hydrogen molecules in palladium in palladium this is the example of this mixtures that means that means what example of gaseous solute and what solvent this solid this h2 is in solid state and this palladium is in so, uh, solid state sorry gaseous state solute that means h2 and solid is what uh, solvent is what solid is in solid state and the palladium is the example okay now the next solvent if the solvent molecule states 
change to solid and this solvent solute molecule change to solid state and solvent molecule is in gaseous state what will happens the example of this solutions example of this sorry we can say this is the solid gases just a minute gas solid sublimations of comfort sublimations of camphor you have already or uh, you have seen the camphor in air this is the example of the uh, this solutions now the next this is also exist in a solid state and this is also exist in a liquid state liquid state and example of this is sugar in water sugar in water you have to make chart of this nine types of solutions i am not making chart you have to make chart of these examples and all these things okay now the next is next is what if the solute molecule is in solid state and solvent molecule is in also solid state so the we can say the example of this type of solutions are alloys number of alloys are exist in the universe that means the stainless steel is also one of the alloy so we can say this stainless steel we can say here we can say i am writing stainless steel stainless steel this is also alloy of this one or another solids first one is a solute and solvent is both are in solid uh, solid form then we can say this is the mixture of homogeneous solutions of solid solid now the solute is in liquid state now the solute is in liquid state and solvent is also in the exist in the gaseous state or we can say solvent is exist in the gaseous state solvent is also exist in the gaseous state so the can say example is moisture in air moisture in air number of moisture in air this is the example of the solute is in liquid form and solvent is in gaseous form now the next is liquid solute is in liquid form and solvent is in also liquid form solute is also solvent is also in liquid form and the example of the both are in liquid form we can say ethanol molecules ethanol in water molecules ethanol in water molecules this is the example of what both are in liquid form and last one is what if the solute is in liquid form and the solvent is exist in the solid form solvent is exist in the solid form just a minute okay this is liquid is in the solid uh, solvent is exist in the solid form an example of this is i am writing here iodine in ccl for iodine in ccl4 iodine exist in the liquid form and this ccl4 is exist in the uh, solid form okay so these are the nine types of solutions exist in the universe but we have to know the examples and which type of solution in the wet state the solutes are exist in the wet state the solvents are exist so this is you have to make the chart in your notebook it have uh, this is the introductory part of the uh, solutions which we i have covered up to this the definitions of solutions after that there are two components involved in the solutions to make the solutions and the, the, that means the solute and solvent and the definitions of solute and solvents we have covered and after that we have to know the solubility because the 
solutes are sol easily soluble or not soluble so with this are the uh, next thing the so the solubility is very important for the solution to make the solutions so the definition of solubility also i have covered and at the end of the this video lectures i have uh, discussed the nine types of solutions are exist in the universe and on the basis of the uh, states of matters exist in the universe uh, the, there are nine types of solutions and already i have make a chart like that with example there are nine types of solutions present in the universe so i hope all of you uh, all these things concepts related to the solutions i have covered in the uh, this video i have covered in this video all these things related is concepts related to the solutions and i think you may understand all these things if you are if you have any query related to the this introductory part of the solutions also oh the ideal and real solutions you may contact me thank you thank you very much